What's up everyone? I'm Owen Holt and you're watching part two of our ANI reunion show. Last time we covered a lot. You guys think I'm problematic? You saw me as your ride or die. Can you let me talk? But we have so much more to get into today. Let's get started. I love amusement parks as much as everyone else, but episode 8 sent us onto the biggest emotional roller coaster we've seen in ANI history so far. Make sure you're strapped in tight because we're taking a look at what went down by the pool. Let's roll it. Right. But then I'm like, why do they hate me? You know what I mean? Yeah. You shouldn't care if people hate you. Uh, we're having a conversation. No. Me and the girls are sitting in the grass chatting, and all of a sudden, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Over and chirp, 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 chirp it up. What are we chatting about? I'm tired of being around people. Like insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to I feel like you need to, you're not going to stop hearing it from me until like. I'm tired of hearing about how insecure. No, I'm and tired. I knew they were lying. Oh, it was boring. You guys, what was that? It was boring. They were talking about uh, absolutely baby. nothing. Where I'm from down in the south. We gonna check you. No, if we were talking about you, we would have let you know. We were honestly talking about her insecurity. No, what's We would have let you know. No, we would have let you know. You look crazy. You look psycho. I just know that there's no way. I did look crazy, girl. No shame. That that's stomping up to me. No, like every time I come There's no way. problem, I would have brought it up to Ray. As soon as people started yelling, I just jumped on the unicorn and left. I was, mm-mm, no thanks. Me too, man. Coley is losing her mind. Oh my gosh, I can't take this. Yeah, I'm just gonna mind my business now. Honestly, I don't want to be a part of any of this. I don't know what to do when people cry. It stresses me out. Like, am I supposed to cry? Am I supposed to? I don't know what to do. You know, I know y'all were talking about me, right? No, we weren't. Ace. I'm done. F this. Shit. I, You're making her so upset. I, she was talking about how she's no friends at home. I'm literally just gonna walk away before I say some stuff for regret because this house, this house. It wasn't about you. I brought you up. I literally made sure of it, Ace. Avocado toast, biatch. Avocado toast, <laughs> biatch. Avocado toast, biatch. Is that when I ranked you for it? Yeah, Matt. I said avocado toast. I should make merch that says avocado toast. Biatch. Hey, speak King, where did all your emotions stem from? I feel like just over the course of the days of just living and breathing the same air and just peeping how people really feel. It wasn't the fact that I felt like she was talking about me. It was the fact that my intuition just made me get up and go. Rave, did you know that Ace had an issue with you like at this point? No, because like I said before, Owen, I was not paying attention to anything that was happening in the house. So, crickets. It's crickets for real. Crickets for real. Yes, exactly. See, these my sons go and sit on a potty. Oh! What else do y'all use that I say? Per. Per. Good morning. I'm an influencer. What can I say? Maddie, you were talking about her and then you flipped and decided to be by her side. Why is that? Because Maddie is two faced sometimes. Okay, Michelle. Anyways, I just want to say that I should have been more clear that I was talking about Coley too. So I should have said that. Like, I thought she was fake too. I didn't really make that clear. So, yeah. I was talking about Coley, but. Honestly, when I see anybody cry like that, like, what the f am I supposed to do? Obviously, I'm gonna comfort her. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, that's just being a. G I feel like that's just the common sense. Like, she's literally having a panic attack. The things she was saying were so. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know now after that if if it was genuine, but to me, it was. I'm just gonna say this, and it wasn't the it wasn't the fact that I did not care how Coley was feeling. Coley knows, just like what Eileen said, like, like why I wasn't feeling it. Like, after, it was just like right after I say something to you, and this wasn't the first time that I had said something to Coley. Like, the cameras just called it this time. That every time I would say something to you, or like, be a real ass bitch and let you know that what you doing isn't right, you would go off and cry. So you can't expect me to try to come comfort you when I, when deep down inside, and I really honestly feel like I know that you, you're trying to make it seem like I'm picking on you or trying to like want to see you cry and then 
like just on Vibram, you were like, yeah, I thought Ace was the type of person that I could come up to and talk because he's so good at talking with everybody. But then you turn around and say that you can't trust any of us and you have to be a fake ass bitch. So it's like, no, you never thought that you could come talk to me because you thought we were all fake ass bitches and that's why you have to act like a fake ass bitch, apparently. And now I'm gonna be honest, now I'm kind of with, I'm kind of with um, Eileen and Ace because I don't know, did I do the right thing? Like, I don't know. You being a, a good human being, Maddie, like, of course, like, you trying to check up on her, but like, as I was trying to tell y'all in the house, or like, even after that, it wasn't the fact that, oh, I think Coley's talking about me, Coley's out crying because of me. There was before that instant of the reason why I'm thinking like, she just, and then, and then came over there and wanted camera time, you know? So that's why I just didn't believe this. All I have to say is everyone has their own opinions. Everyone was mad at each other. Everyone, there was so much drama going on. Um, but honestly, it, it was, I did not cry about a little stupid thing Ace said to me. I have thicker skin than that, I'm sorry. I didn't even know what Ace said, honestly. Sometimes I just blank everyone out. <laughs> you heard me, girl. You heard, you heard me, because that's why you got up and left. No hard feelings. Um, everyone was just thinking different things. And yeah. Uh, I cried about my TikTok getting banned, so I do understand that. But I pray for you that you actually start telling the truth, girl. We can move on. God don't like ugly. Let's move on because fights weren't the only thing causing tension in the A&I house. We can't talk about this session without taking a look at our resident flirt, Eddie. Have you met anyone yet? Oh, I'm kind of into Eddie. Eddie's the hot boy of the season. Like, what's going on? Oh, I like her. She's beautiful, she's beautiful, but... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if, she, if I if I, should make, if I should make a move. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy he was talking about me because, man, is he fine. What's your favorite Mexican candy? Uh, those lollipops. Which ones? They have like the tuna, like over them. You like those? Those are cute. I, 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 I think I've, I've been told like, kind of tastes like that. I, I can't even believe it. Are you going to try? Yeah, why not? <laughs> It's getting hot in here, for real. Me and Maddie are standing on the basketball court and it's looking kind of suspicious because we are like talking close and kind of quiet. So what's going on here? Ball is life. Hmm. Ball is life. So do you guys do you guys love playing basketball together now? Or what? We like hanging out together. This is really cute of him right now. Like, do I have a crush? Why'd you choose to subscribe to Maddie, but not Eileen? Ooh. I just feel like I've connected more with Maddie right now. Well, apparently that's his like new boo or something. Yeah, as 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 Michelle walks out, I'm like, ah, oh, she's slim waist, slim body. You Maddie, know? She's, you. She's rocking the, oh, she got the pearl necklace. Like, that's a woman right there. That's a beautiful woman right there. Put them on me right yes, now. Yes, let me, oh, please be my Wait. Please, you are now under arrest, and you will be going on this day now, with this Eddie. Is hey. And as hey, your host, please follow me to your table, babe. Okay, wait. Sorry, Michelle. That's what you get for having a bad attitude. You just missed out on a good date. So, Eddie and Eileen, were you guys expecting to get as close together as you did when you first entered the house? Coming into the house, I didn't really have any expectations um, with anybody, like, you know, relationship-wise or anything like that. I didn't expect it, but it was also nice to have someone like Eddie in the house that, um, you know, I bonded with in a different way, not in a friendship way. Um, I just, no, I thought when she first walked in, I thought she would be like a good person to like be close to, so it worked out. Was anything like going on between you and Michelle? Because we saw in that teaser and the GoPro footage that you went in her room. <gasps> what? No! No! What are don't we doing, weird, dude? Owen. No! Should I ask you, oh, how's your little crush on Brave, Owen? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bruce, what are you yeah. doing? So, were there any other hookups that anyone wants to come clean about in the house? Bro, I wish, Owen. Me and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. You was like, what am I supposed to do here? There's two bottoms, two straight guys, and the rest of them are girls. Because they said date night. Because they were saying date night, like something was about to happen. I know these episodes were long, but there was just so much happening in this house that we just couldn't show. 
So we're gonna take a look at even more never seen footage <laughs> from this season of ANI. Let's roll the clips. What do y'all have on camera? I'm so scared. I'm really terrified. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm nervous. Oh. I love this surveillance camera. Where are the cameras? Oh my gosh, no. This is, oh my gosh. <laughs> I like this for the thumbnail. Eddie is a fucking project. Look at me, I look so awkward. Look at me. Wait, what's going on? Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. I'm ready. Ten, ten, ten! Hey, we don't know if it was a. Thank you, Eddie. Such cute age. Of course. That's what we're here for. Oh, but if this is the first day, you wouldn't want to have a cousin drama. Oh, Mmm. Yeah. Look, she's all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, so Ace Acres, you were just like chilling with Eddie in that clip. What were you guys talking about? It was something about how Rave was in the room with Michelle. No, like, but the thing is, after the show, I brought that up to Rave and I was like, yeah, you were talking shit. And she goes, yeah, I probably was. So who knows if she loves me or not. It's the way I literally told you during the show, I was talking about content house drama and the house I live in. But go ahead. But then after the show, you go, yeah, I probably was. Because that specific situation, I told you I was not talking about you. No, but afterwards, you literally said, like, we were talking about it and you were Again, not. Michelle, baby, Michelle, baby, the amount of times that I've said things about you in confessionals or anything, I mean, I've said it, I told you I said it. So, if this was really, truly about you, girl, I wouldn't. I wouldn't oh my god, it. I'm literally so sick of this. I'm literally closing my laptop and leaving. I'm not doing this shit anymore. Like, I like, don't want to be here. Can I leave, Omid? I don't want to do this anymore. I have to go to an appointment. I don't want to be here. It's so fing stupid. I want to leave. Did Michelle just leave? Uh, Did we lose Michelle? Did we, uh, let the gods handle uh, it. I hate this girl. Oh, okay. Can we move on before my mouth start running? Do you want a ball? This ball. I'm gonna try actually. Come on, buddy. Oh my God, dude. This is a freak show, dude. Ace, want a ball? You want a ball? You can let's ball. Ace, Ace oh, one is balling ball. up. The other Ace, Ace King, Kaya. let's go. You want a ball? Eddie, get the f over here. Dude, Ace. Bro, Eddie, quit really? overreacting. You're overreacting, bro. It's not that deep, bro. But that is so embarrassing, bro, when you say that. Because listen, you come up to a group and you say, Ace, I need to talk to you. What literally, do you think? Literally, that's it. I literally, and then but, I but didn't. But genuinely, what do you think the other people are going to do? They're going to be like, oh. I know, he's, and then he's, I told, bro, they all know me and you are together. I know, but like, why am I going to see where cross? Tell them. It's not bad, bro. You're like overreacting know, and it no, makes the cameras know, look like you're, you're a No, I'm not looking like a hey, I'm literally actually, just, just like, a little bit when of you say here, like I'm that, it, it gets me in there. It's like literally in like. I saw you. Okay, okay buddy. Oh, stuff with I mean last night. Like, what, are, what are your thoughts? Cause I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm, that's not my goal. I'm in this competition and you know that. Like, I, don't, I, just, I, don't, I don't I mean, at first, like, you know, I was realizing, you know, it's just kind of pretty and everything like, It'd be cool if like me and her really got to know each other and everything, but like I don't really want to be in like any like relationship or any drama because after like all the stuff that I mean we're here to win. Me exactly, that's why we came here for competition, and now I'm getting myself into drama. Because I, I I told you like I wasn't I was for relationship. I wasn't coming in to start drama. Like I came in to win the competitions and to get the dub at the end of the day. Yeah and take home the final prize. And yeah. I thought you were on page, well, on page. Exactly, and so you that's are. what I thought too. But now I'm getting dragged into all this drama and stuff. And like, it's what I don't want, but I mean. And keep your, keep your head high, don't, yeah. don't get dragged in. Cause we, we, at the we end came, of the day, you want to win just yeah. like me. He said we're here to win. I love to see it. Yeah, no, 100%.
Hey, do you and Eddie often argue like that? Or was that just a once every blue moon, spur of the moment type thing? What was going on in that clip? You know how I am with drama. I did not want to be in it. And that that was a point where I felt like I was low-key being dragged into it. And I just didn't want that to come across. It was nothing towards Eddie. I just didn't, I just didn't want to be in it. And like, I got, I just got really offended because I, I don't like to be in the drama. No, it looks like you guys went to go talk about me. Oh, they told us to talk about you. I'm not talking about any of that shit anymore. About what <clears throat> shit? About what shit? About what shit? About, about you. You said we were talking about you. About what shit? About me? But I'm not shit. I'm Aileen. About what shit? What are you talking about? A what? Don't make me pull a Michelle, bro. Every time, anytime it's like about Aileen, it's like, I don't want to talk about that shit. I'm over that shit. Because that's all they talk it's about. It's not anything. I just, I was wondering. I don't like this drama I just said that. I literally just said that. So like, I don't know why you're getting all mad and Like, I told you I have nothing against you. Like, come on, I'm siding on your side and you're coming for me. What are we doing here? Come on, Eileen. I'm talking to you, Eileen. I, we talked about this already. Next question. Moving on. So when you're fighting for the top spot, no one is safe from getting dragged into the drama. Yes, this is a competition, but my favorite part about A and I are the bonds we form with each other while in the house. Ace King, how you doing, cuh? Good. Maddie, oh my god, he's gonna make me cry. Oh. Maddie is just a cool person. She's funny, she's nice, does not get along with everybody, but gets along with me. Maddie, do you know I cried in my confession? We both cried today, that's not okay. I think the whole point of being an influencer is to like help people and like show them that they're not alone and like whatever they're struggling with. And like for me, it's like anxiety and like OCD and like I just never am relaxed. I'm always on edge. It's just like mental yes, health Maddie, is like, I feel say it really strongly about it because it does affect a lot of people and it's not talked about enough. And I feel like influencers like have that platform and they have that opportunity to help people. When I found out that his like account got banned and like he had his reasoning, seeing him cry and like just be oh my god, Ace, I love you. It just like made me heartbroken. I He's love the speaking. One person in this house that I would hate yeah. to have oh, to go like, through that. After I came out the closet, like I lost all contact with just the people that I thought were gonna be there for me. I just have really bad trust issues because of the fact that y'all left me in a time that I really needed y'all. None of y'all wanted me around. <laughs> y'all stopped inviting me to places. It was just... Like, I know you wouldn't understand because you're not a person of color or anything, but like me, I've been called names and because of my skin color and everything, and it's just like, does, like, I just kept it in. I never talked about it. And like, now I'm just realizing like, if I have problems like that, I have to talk about it. You're just like Maddie in a way. You don't think before you talk, just like... Yeah, I think so. No, I guess. Or like you react too, too aggressive. Much. Yeah, yeah. And then you just dig your own hole. And then everybody else just kind of like notices that. And it's not a good look. And she is straight up and that's what I love about her. If there's a problem, yeah. I want to talk to he somebody she's so straight the problem up and that's can what be I love fixed. And her. that is what Eileen is. She's real. That was so cute. Maddie, you're a huge advocate for like mental health. So is it okay if we talk about that for a quick moment? Well, I just really wanted to use my platform, you know, to help others and to advocate for things that people don't talk about enough. Like I feel like everything is so perfect on social media and that's not how it is in real life. And that's really why I wanted to become a, a influencer. That's where my head was at the whole time. And I got kind of upset at the first couple days because I, I really felt like no one really cared about, I, I felt like they had different um, priorities than I did. And I felt like they just cared about money and clout and that upset me because to me, that's not what it's about. For me, it's always been about helping others. And if I had that, like a role model like that online, I would love that. So that's what I want to be for others. I would just like to say, Maddie, you coming in the house really like, you helped me feel like I wasn't the outcast. We've had some discussions about like, I'm not from a castle. Like I didn't grow up in LA. I had a nine to five job. And you being there just really made me feel like I was at home. Like you get, you made me want to 
do more because just like you, I want to help people. I like to see people smile. Like that's my whole thing in being an influencer. Like I like to make people have a good day and you being there and being yourself and your story and like what you want to do with it and why you wanted to be an influencer is it's beautiful. And I'm really glad that you decided to come. And the only thing that was pissing me off about you, girl, was you kept saying that you didn't deserve to be there. And you were one of the best, not if the best, um, people here. There's conversations me and Ace had that the camera didn't get. Uh, but I just want to say Ace B. King is the most genuine, amazing. He, he told me, they, he said things to me that no one's ever told me before that meant so much to me. He really made me believe in myself so much more and that I did deserve to be here. He's the most amazing beautiful person i love you ace i don't know what i would have done without you in that house i'm trying not to cry so we're gonna keep it moving <laughs> i'm gonna cry <laughs> guys stop eileen and maddie although it was a bit of an argument you and matt really wanted maddie to start standing up for herself why is that i was just i knew maddie was getting stepped all over like i just knew maddie was just the type to f let people you know take advantage of her and i I'm not that type of person. I'm the last person that's gonna let anybody step all over me. And just seeing Maddie being so naive and letting her do, I was just like, there's no way. I wanna apologize for that scene, Eileen, because I totally believed Rave and she literally made me out to be a ass tonight. I'm so sorry, Eileen, you were right, so. Wait, what's your sign, Maddie? I'm a Pisces. Spicy Pisces. It definitely projected on that scene, like Maddie, you still let me take advantage of you and like sleep outside the tent. <laughs> But I mean, I Eileen, you're so iconic. I can't help it. You're so iconic. <laughs> I was just trying to help you. And even when the episode came out, I was like, I knew it. I knew it. People were lying. Mm -hmm. I did not see that. Shit. You know why? Because I actually thought Rave was a nice person. Guess I was wrong. No, but you remember in the room, I had a discussion with you. You were like, we were talking about the situation that happened on Challenge On. And I was trying to tell you that Rave and Michelle, they just want to be on top. Like that's when the whole turning point really started because I tried to open your eyes about- They Miss did. And you, you thought that I was going to flip the rankings. First of all, I said I was going to f it up. And not meaning that I was going to flip it. I mean, you were 10th that day. Just, no, you were like, I don't know what the f you were like first was, that day and then you were going to go 10th. Regardless of who won that competition, the outcome was going to be the same. <laughs> Ace won. Like we were, the, it was the same thing. So that whole thing was pointless and stupid. And Maddie, you freaking got stuff all over and I'm sorry. And yeah, I did. I agree with everything you're saying, period. Point proven. And then Matt, the whole time you were just eating popcorn. What was going through your mind when that whole situation was going down? I didn't know what I was supposed to do there, honestly. And to set the record straight, I tried to let Maddie sleep in the tent. And you guys thought I was crying? I was, no, I wasn't crying. I was trying to hold in my laughter because I saw Matt eating popcorn out of the corner of my eye, okay? I tried to let you sleep in the tent. To be fair, I held a hand out, but they cut that part out. Oh, We were holding hands. Yeah. Eddie and Ace, what was it about Ace B. King that made you guys want to get to know him more? Is it something that you two had discussed like before that moment? The big thing for me is I just saw that Ace B. King was being himself and I just wanted to like let him know that like we accepted him for that. And you know, that's, that's just kind of like the big topic on what me and Eddie talked about. Like he, he was a nice guy and we just wanted to to talk to him about like how he was just being himself because like that that's awesome we love you ace now everyone did you all have expectations to have such deep conversations with each other involving things like race and sexuality mental health i mean we all have different backgrounds and being like we're all just different so i thought that we would have like you know, I thought we would just talk about what's trending because we're all influencers. I never expected me to cry and, you know, do all that extra stuff because, you know, I came in as like, I don't really know these people. These people don't really know me. They're not gonna care, but. I mean, we're human. We all have problems. There's real world problems going on in the world right now that we, you know, need to talk about. And so it wasn't a, it wasn't a surprise. But it definitely helped us um, bond and get closer with each other for sure. Normally, normally that doesn't happen a lot. But like after getting to know, like especially Ace B King, like that was I was able to open up to him, and he was able to open up to us just because how close we got, and and that was like the big thing. 
because normally that doesn't happen. It's just we got really close and we both felt like it was like the right thing to do because like we, we we got really close on that show. Yeah, honestly, at the end of the day, like I'm just really grateful for the experience. Um, you know, I watch reality shows all the time and like you watch them and it's like, you know, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna kill this and like have a strategy. And then you go in there and you realize like you're with 10 real people who all have different backgrounds and stories and we all have to get along and you just learn so much about other people and where they came from and I'm just, I don't know, I just really feel grateful to be there. Sorry, I'm, I don't know. No, Jake, totally, you're good. I agree. I think it's important that all of us like just are grateful for this experience because so many people would kill to be in our position. I'm so grateful, so grateful, you guys. I just wanted to also say I'm super grateful for this experience, even though it was super uncomfortable for me. It was a little harder for me to get along with everyone, and especially my iconic crime session behind the house. Um, about my personal stuff even though no one understood it and thought it was about something else I like learned from that and I learned okay everyone else has problems too it's not all gonna be about are you okay and all this and at the end of the day I forgive everyone I hope they forgive me and I like wouldn't change this experience for the world it was so much fun and Jake and I Jake I like Jake was my ride or die like yeah no I, I really Jake and I get along so well so um yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy about this experience. Ray, what were your, um, what were your thoughts on your experience? Coming from a content house and living with like six, eight people for over a year now, um, I'm used to that. Like living with other people, living with people of different backgrounds, living with people that go through different things than I do. So I had a good time overall. Like I think I've met a lot of people. I don't keep anything from gameplay. Like I don't take it personally. So. I still like love everyone in the house. It was a really interesting two weeks, but you know, there's things to learn from everything you go through in life. And I think everyone at least can take away something from being in the a and I mansion. Yeah, and I actually, Rave, I wanted to tell you something. Um, even I would say like, oh, I don't want Rave to win. This is too easy for her. But I want to say just from hearing everything today and then hearing everything from all the episodes, especially since I was attacked for fake crying, but I have, like Maddie understands, mental health problems are like, sometimes just happens out of nowhere. I just want to let you know that I, for, I, I'm not mad at you and I hope you're having like a good time right now. And um, I want to hang out with you because I know you feel left out and you feel like the villain and I want to let you know you're not the villain. No one's the villain on here. At the end of the day, tomorrow's not promised. And I think we should all forgive and forget. And Rave, I like love you so much. I just don't want you to think that you're like, left out or anything because of anything like you're one of my favorites yeah on um, no of course Coley. um i came into the season saying that if i was going to be the villain at least i was a hot one so i'll take the villain role if that's what everyone wants to give me um again it is a game show it's reality show like it's not real life so i'm not really like pressed or mad or upset about it um everyone here is you know a good person i'm sure of it so it is what it is. Like like Maddie said, I completely agree with her mental health thing. Um, I go through mental health. I want to be a psychotherapist when I'm older. So I, I understand the whole thing. It is what it is. But yeah, no, I'm glad that everyone got to experience the show. Well, I do have one question for you all. Would you all do this all over again? Yes or no? 100%, 100%. I would say no, because I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and trying to like replicate a memory it wouldn't end up being the same type of experience, you know what I mean? I mean, at times it was really stressful, but I did enjoy it. I just don't think I would do it again. Yeah, I'll do it again. I'll keep taking the crown home, oh, girl. I'll do that over and over <laughs> and over again, girl. <laughs> no, but I really seriously, but I don't think I would do it again with different people. I need the same exact people. I miss you guys. I love this cast. I would love to be put in a house with you guys again. No cameras because I feel like everybody's persona would be completely yeah. different. Yeah, no cameras. Then where would I fall in? Because I was the host. Would I just not be in there? We don't need you. It's okay. Owen. It's okay. Owen, I want you to be there. No, we had a bond with you too, Owen, because you lived with us too. Hell. Owen, if you weren't there, like, Lord help us. Like, we Owen, were... we had our moments off camera too. Don't worry. What, are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean? We all bonded with you off camera. Owen and I were on season one together, so out of everyone of the cast, I love everyone on the cast. 
but Owen it was like Owen's my best friend like the whole time while we were filming I was always like Owen 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 just because you know we know each other and we know how each other act and so I'm really thankful for Owen being the host this year he deserves it all <laughs> guys thank you so much um any last words before we get wrapped up we've had a crazy two weeks we've seen the episodes we've seen all the that we've talked behind each other's back we've seen all the that we went through together but at the end of the day no behind the drama, behind the tears, you know, behind the fights, behind everything. I love everybody and I wish everybody the best outside of this. And I honestly consider all of you guys my friends. And um, I just hope that, you know, our relationships continue to grow throughout the years. And I mean, I wouldn't take it back for anything. I would do it all over again, like you said. And I appreciate you guys. You're my hero. I mean, I, I love, love you. you. I Love you. I love you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Any last word? Anyone else? Just, just don't be afraid to just speak up. Jake, I'm still waiting for you to date me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Coming from a season one person and then season two. Season two is absolutely a whole different environment. Different people, different personalities. Off camera, everyone is so kind. So amazing. It like, it scares me because like, these are just like the best people you're ever gonna meet and these are like forever friends <laughs> and I know I took myself out of the group chat but you guys have Snapchat what? way too much. Holly, you don't follow any of you don't follow you any of us. Snapchat so much my phone is blowing up with Snapchat. She don't follow I me on Instagram or anything. What the f is this? Kali, you literally don't follow any of us on social media. Come on girl, stop lying. You don't even respond to me. I'm too busy filming. I'm too busy all of my texts well. with you, red, 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 like. Text me, text me, text me. I'm not really a text or a Snapchatter. I just grind my ass off. I have time to hang out. Maddie, quit, girl. Guys, but... <laughs> no way, <laughs> girl. Oh my gosh, Maddie. Yeah, you guys. I'm done. I'm done with this. Wait, what, Maddie? Why? I, what? Why? This is know. fake. This is fake. I don't want to be fake anymore. The only real ones. You guys know who you are. Girl, wait, Maddie, why'd you take that down? <laughs> she ripped it too. Just end it, you guys. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. Thank you to everyone at home for watching, and a huge thank you to the season two cast for joining us today. If you want to see more of these amazing creators, make sure to go follow all of their socials and subscribe to Awesomeness TV for even more content. Let us know down in the comments if you want to see a season three of Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer. I'm Owen Holt, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. Yeah. Everybody's always saying, like, what happened off camera? Okay, fine, then I'll tell you guys what happened off camera. You're talking to Eddie? Hey, sister! Hey. Got a new Why don't you get yourself a real manager? remember something. Where are you at right now? You didn't do this by yourself. Who's this guy? Put your shirt on now. You should cut him off, Ellie. What are you like? You watch the show, you